Hey folks, you can see I've cancelled my mid journey subscription here and it's because I'm very, very confident about focus generating my new set of images. So it's similar to the web UI, but it also has features that can enhance your image and make it look like mid journey images. So you can see the only prompt that was provided here was forest elf and look at the quality of the generations, right? I've not seen these kind of generations anywhere except for mid journey or Leonardo. Now the reason why the generations are so good is because it's still using stable diffusion Excel one in the background but it's using its own rule sets in order to enhance the capabilities now to start off all you need to do is click here to download this and it's surprising how easy it is to use no wonder it has more than 6,000 stars on GitHub because it's extremely easy to use and it also has templates that you can use in order to manipulate your images. But to start off, just go ahead and download the file. I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to achieve this. So once you download, you should see something like this, uh, obviously after you extract it, just click on run. This will do a bunch of things, right? So this will firstly download both the models in your local system. I already have it here. So if, if I go in the models checkpoints, you can see I already have both the models, but in your case, it will go ahead and download the model for you after the models are downloaded that's that's pretty much all you need to do i mean at this point you're set to run this in your local computer so you can see the ui is loaded and it's extremely simple to use all you need to do is just type a prompt so let's say forest elf the prompt that uh, was shown in the sample and it will you know kind of ensure that it's using the right gpus in order to do the generation now i have a 4070 GPU attached to my PC. So the generation is still going to be faster relatively, but they also have a guide that you can refer in case you want, if you want to run it on the low end CPUs or low end computers, right? So you can see the guide here and you know, while it's generating, so you can also see that it's kind of generating these images in the command prompt here. Look at the kind of generations it's doing, right? So I am not genuinely not seen these type of generations anywhere apart from mid journey. It's insane. Now, Let's talk about what you can do more with this, right? So you click on the advanced option here and you can see there are a bunch of things you can do. So there's performance. You can either focus on speed or quality. There are aspect ratios so you can manipulate the number of images. So you can, let's say I want to generate four images. I'm just going to move the slider to four. Negative prompt. You can add a negative prompt. You don't want it to generate certain items. You can add those here. Maybe NSFW. Now note that because this is an open source model, it will also be generating those kind of images for you. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know then there is an option for styling here so you can and this is one of the best things you can do with this model right so there is a cinematic such style that is default you can also do 3d models so let's say we do this uh, while we review all of this there is ad based templates futuristic sci-fi misc tribal so all you're doing is just putting a small prompt here and it's you know, choosing a template in which you want this to generate. And it's kind of taking that all of that into consideration. So all the prompts are baked in the background and it'll do the generation for you. There are more options here where you can choose the LoRa. So for example, if you've trained a model on your face, you can go ahead and choose the LoRa here and generate HD quality images of yourself, right? So that's, I mean, you never really need to do photo shoot ever in your life again. But yeah, I mean, you know, there are a lot of options to choose from here and feel free to kind of play around. But this was probably the most simple tutorial that I've ever made for and I'm really excited to see where this goes but as of right now I'd recommend if you're using any sort of image generation it's time that you say goodbye and start using this open source uh, framework or model and stay excited for what's going on and obviously I'm pretty confident that the folks who are maintaining the repository are obviously going to be working really hard to keep it up to date so yeah that's all I'm going to be talking about the video all the best and have fun generating great images like these thank you so much